Hello. This is another episode of Advice for Foons. I think this is episode six. But who's really counting? I am. So this is episode six. Um, usually, past two episodes I've had a co-host, and this episode I don't. So don't get used to that, because it's it's not necessarily that kind of show, right? There's one camera, and only one, and there's only one microphone. So you know, if you you have if K, okay, if if you have mono hearing, right? You only hear in one ear. And they, you have a stereo, you have a stereo head, headphones or microphones. You can only hear one half, right? So if I'm talking to the left and this other character is talking on the right, then if this other character is talking, on the, <laughs> this other character is talking on the right, and you can only hear in the left, you won't hear the other character, or God forbid, you won't hear me, right? And so. That's not ideal, I don't think. So, but I put on my Christmas wish list that I want a my mic set, maybe one or two. So if I have one, you know, you can just sit between it, and then I I'll have to tr when I when I edit, I'll just put the the audio, I'll put the stereo audio into mono, so then it doesn't have the directional issues, and it'll just kind of it'll sound a little wonky. But I mean, like I'm pretty decent with with the editing software, so it should it should be fine. I'm thinking. If you get a new headset and you put it on and it's like the digital circus headset and it transports you to the digital world, what will you do? I don't think that well, that's a good question and that we'll we'll address that sort of can you keep that in your head and we'll address it later on during the advice section? Okay, sure. So that's the that's the advice. We got another question that just came in. But also I wasn't talking about headsets, I was talking about microphones. That's the same thing. No. Sometimes. Well, sometimes, but not in this situation. I want, like, a blue Yeti. So I can have, like, set it up on the Classic table. Classic blue Yeti. Well, because what I can do is if I get a small try, I can sit here, right? You can sit here, right? Do you see the vision? Yeah. So you sit here. I sit here. Set up the camera here with a try. Blue Yeti right here. Right? Yeah. And then the the audio will be a little and then we can drink and it's like a homemade podcast that would be dope well the whole thing is a homemade podcast once again the autofocus is zeroing in on my eyes so i have it set on my nose but i my... should put a bunch of distracting things in the background so it can't decide that's not how the autofocus works the autofocus is on the clo stop playing with the toys okay so um oh let's get to housekeeping so this is, this is um, like I said, it's episode six. We actually have a lot more advice this episode. In fact, we have four questions. Four? That's a record. Well, five, including the one you just asked. Mm. So um, I read, my original idea for this episode was that I would do a Halloween episode, and I had a whole character planned out. His name was Duke Vex Locus, and he was a an evil vampire duke. And I, would have, I had a whole voice. I was going to... I was going to talk like this the whole episode, and he was going to be like a weird Scandinavian vampire that's like 300 years old. And I even had like a I I got this uh, pocket watch forever ago, and it could have been part of the thing, and it would have been like my evil pocket watch. See, isn't that like a family heirloom? No, man, this is from like Walmart or something. Oh, it's kind of neato, but it's not an heirloom, not by a long shot. It's a one year old. You could say it is, and people would believe you. Yeah, well, Duke Vex Locus would say it's it's an heirloom. Yeah. And, you know, I could have even played a cowboy because I have this gun. So I could have done a cowboy thing, and I would have went, I would have went, get down, you varmint. Pew, pew, pew. This is a real gun. No, it's not. It might be. Well, no, because I think for YouTube, it has to be fake, or otherwise oh. I'd get in trouble or it's something. It's fake. God. You say fake like it's not true, but it is. Okay. So that is a fake gun. My dad got this. Um, I believe his parents went to Vegas in the in the mid '80s, and they brought this back for him. I think that's what happened, although I'm not certain. But it's pretty real looking. I don't know if somebody aimed this at me in public, I'd be kind of freaked out. Just a little bit because I don't get scared. So for housekeeping, what? What's been going on? 
Uh, I saw, I saw a ghost. I, there was a ghost in my bedroom. Did you? That was watching Tyler sleep. What? And I, it tried to get him. Did you? What happened? So. Well, I'm okay. I guess. This week would have been the bur the bur uh, Halloween special because next week is gonna be my birthday. My birthday, my birthday special. My birthday yeah. special. Um. So those of you who are going to be at my birthday, you know who you are. Um, if you want to do a birthday recording, we can. It's up to you. If you don't want to, we don't have to. But if you like that idea, let me know. Leave a comment in my DMs. You know where to find me. consent. Yeah, I don't really like turning on the camera just filming people. Obviously, if they don't want to do it, it's no skin off my back. But yeah. So, that's that. Uh, I'm sorry I failed you guys. There will be a Christmas special, and I will be able to get a Santa Claus hat. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. And I will be able to sort of do a sort of Santa Claus kind of thing, kind of elf kind of thing. Tyler can be an elf. I can be a Santa. Or something along those lines. Hold on. Look how freaking big the moon is. Why is it so big? I'm not overly concerned about the moon. It's huge. So, the... Yeah. So, there will be a Christmas special. There won't be a, a, a Halloween special. It's cancelled. There will, however, be a birthday special. We'll make sure of it. And it will be... It'll be, well, I don't know. It'll be special. And I don't know exactly what will be special about it, but I know it'll be special. I'll make sure. So, you know, it's it's tough to say what I've been up to because I haven't been up to anything. I, I went to the store. I went to a different store. I went to another store. I made Rice Krispie Squares the, last week. I made them. But I burnt the Rice Krispies. Um, I made, I made supper. I made some pasta. I've been grinding out on Fortnite. I've been going ham. And I was, I was sort of thinking, you know, I'm, tw I'm 22, going on 23. And so I was sort of thinking to myself, I'm like, damn. No. I was sort of thinking, I'm like, damn. Look at my, my life is like. I wake up at like 8 in the morning, I do my daily routines, exercise, face wash, whatever. If you can't tell, I do wash my face. I wake up, have a coffee, listen to a podcast, and grind it out on Fortnite. Unemployed style. That's the life. It is the life, and I was thinking, damn. That shit's awesome. But then I was also thinking, like, at the same time, I was like, damn. Holy fuck, this is... What am I doing? Because I was... When I was like... 16, I'm like, okay, I'm going to graduate university, and I'm going to have a, a job, and I'm going to work in some kind of office or something. When I was like 10, I'm like, yeah. When I'm growing up, I'm going to be making GTA 6, and I'm going to be working, I'm going to be a programmer, game developer, and you know, look at how that's worked out. I don't, I, I've got a podcast. That's dope, though. That's true. Think about the kind of people that have podcasts. Haley Welch. Hawk Tua. Hawk Tua. Joe Rogan. Uh, Tucker Carlson. Like, these are sort of legends that, you know, really made something of themselves. Um, and I think the idea is, is that if I lug around a camera enough and I record myself talking enough, eventually I'll accidentally induce art. Right? It's sort of like the the... It's sort of like the monkey with a typewriter. You know, you know? What? Well, the monkey with a typewriter, it's like, well, if you send enough monkeys writing shit, eventually one of them's going to start writing Shakespeare. You know, because oh. they'll write everything. It's like, if I throw enough shit at the wall, something's going to stick. And so, I think, once or twice on this YouTube channel, I've accidentally induced art. And it, it actually is, in some ways, even compelling art. Uh... If you disagree, that's okay. If you dis if you agree, that's fantastic because that's you know everyone wants to be appreciated. So, um, yeah, that's sort of the basic rundown. Is is my life is sort of in a very strange limbo where I'm in my early twenties, and don't get me wrong, like I'm ex I'm healthy, I've got friends, I like my mom and dad, but I don't have a job and I play a lot of Fortnite. And so that's sort of that's sort of an area of concern for sure. You sort of got to look out for that one. 
I'm um, kind of jealous though, because like on I'm on the other end of that spectrum. Yeah. And like looking into you, it seems like mm. maybe it's like a grass is greener on the other side thing, but it's like mm. I feel like we both can see the mm. negatives of our lifestyle. Maybe maybe we need to compromise, and we both need to work twenty hours a week. Maybe I can give you half my shifts, and you can give me half your Fortnite battles. Yeah, and you need to stop scratching your leg when you give me your shifts. Yeah. Because your leg might bleed, yeah. and that's an area of concern. So, no, yeah, I mean, ideally, I wouldn't work 40 hours a week because I hate that, but I'd work like 20, maybe. And I do that. No, jobs don't want to hire me. You can work part-time. Jobs don't want to hire me. That's the problem. Maybe you need to get a job on the Talk to a Podcast. Maybe I need to do... In the 30s, you're allowed to come close to the camera if you want. Yeah, I thought I was doing like a background bit. You can if you want, but you're also allowed to come closer. I'm here. So I'm thinking back in the day, they, in the 30s, they used to just have guys who'd ride the rails and they were, they were bums and hobos and vagrants and you just ride the rails and go places. Yeah. Maybe that's what I need to do. But then where would you get coffee? Um, I don't know. I'd probably just drink mud. That's sad. I'd probably just heat up mud and drink it with milk. I could give you, like, a backpack full of, like, Diet Pepsi, but that would only last you, like, a week. Can you milk a... Do, do, do birds produce milk? No. No, because only mammals do that. Yeah, haven't you ever seen a baby bird be fed by its mom? Yeah, it just eat? feeds it goo. Yeah. So, I guess, um, to close out the homekeeping, housekeeping aspect of it, I just talked about my life and about what I've been doing, and I kind of make it sound really bad, but it's actually kind of choice... Because I, you know, it could be a lot worse. I could be... could always be a lot worse. I could be a crack. I could be on crack. I could be getting beat to death. I could be getting choked to death by an alien trying to abduct me. I could be getting um, attacked by a wolverine or something, or the wolverine. Um, I could not have my beautiful, wonderful friends. I could not have Tyler. I could not have my mom and my dad. And I could be an alien... So yeah, things could be always could be worse, but things could always be better. I, I think. Mean, why is this soup man spitting facts though? The soup man. I said you were spitting facts though. Who's the soup man? I said this man. Oh, true. You can, you don't like soup. You're not the soup man. I so, might be the soup man. I think you know. You kind of gotta. What's the takeaway? The takeaway I think is every day you have to work towards a better tomorrow, but you have to appreciate that today could be. A pretty met, pretty bad, and so I think for all the wonderful people in the audience, if you, if by tomorrow you've done something to make, if if by the end of today you've done something to make tomorrow better, you've done enough. You've done enough blank, check, cash that check, right? I don't. All I ask is that you guys try your best. You know, we love the we love the people of the earth, and especially the fans. Sort of, it's sort of like good morning to the fans and to everyone else. Uh, go fuck yourself, I guess. So we can sort of jump into the advice, I think. Um, so now, do do we want to start with the question you had about what if I got um, put into the Pomni world? Sure. I've never seen a single episode of that show. I have. I've seen all three episodes. Is it a nice world? No, it's mm. kind of sad. Um, the new episode kind of scared me, actually. They do, like, a troll fight, you know, troll face scare, you know? Mm-hmm. It's kind of scary. Made me poop my What do you mean troll face scare? The thing you were showing me earlier. Oh! Like, the evil troll face. The mango, mango, mango? Mango, mango, mango. Yeah, kind of. Like that troll face crash out 808. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to 808. I'm about to crash out. They do that with Pomni. Pomni crashes out? Uh, yeah. Pomni has a 808 crash out? They put her in, like, a nightmare, like, simulation, and there's, like, the big troll face, and he's like... <sighs> Is there really a troll face? Kind of. And so Pomni... I'll show you after this. Does Pomni have a crash out? Y yeah, she crashes out. And what and is she... And then like, don't worry, I'm normal. So if I were in this world, what would I do is your question. Yeah. And that's advice. Yeah. Um, Sometimes life is like digital circus. It's like you're thrown into some. Uh, you know what? Situation. I take every day as it comes. That's that's what I would do, and that'd be my advice for anyone here who finds himself trapped in a nightmare world. 
um, take every day as it comes, you know? In what way? Um, just take the good with the bad, you know, try to hold on to the good, and, you know, try to weather the bad, you know, don't... It's giving the white girl affirmation. We might not have a better day tomorrow, but, you know, by Job, we can be better people. You know, we can be stronger people tomorrow. What does by Job mean? It's like, by, by, by like... Who's Job? Like, um, like, you know, like Mary and Joseph or whatever. Joseph isn't Job. Yeah, Job's like a Bible guy. He's like a... There are a, a lot of Bible guys. By Job. They keep inventing new Bible guys. Uh, Lots it's like, by Job is like a total, total, like, he's like a guy, it's like a Bible guy, I think. I don't know. Okay, um, well, we don't need to get into Bible stories. Jovis. So it's like Jupiter, by Jupiter, or something. That's blasphemous. That's Zeus. Well. Next question. Okay. So, this one is from Best Friend. Um, takes another deep drag of his cigarette before speak. Sorry, I'll get into the sort of... These are the questions for this week. You can see I put them on paint.net because I don't have Photoshop. So, this is... I don't know if anyone... I'm sure everyone who knows me knows this, but... I was in school and they gave... I, and I paid for this and I didn't get a refund... I paid for a, you can take this to the college, um, I paid for a license to use um, the Adobe Suite, the Adobe Creative Cloud, and I dropped out and they took it, they took my code, my, my, my pass away the same day I dropped out. So I don't have Photoshop, so I have to do everything on paint.net and Sony Vegas, or uh, yeah, Sony Vegas, which sucks ass. So, and they didn't give me a refund for it. So, you know, that's not cool. I dropped out two weeks into the, three weeks into the program. No refund for the Adobe Cloud Suite? Come on. I thought they were giving you a partial refund. They gave me a partial refund, but um, it's... Is it I'm, pending? It's, it's, I'm trying to figure, I'm working on it. I'm pending until next year. Yeah, it's sort of in, li it's kind of in litigation right now. It's not it's limbo. It No, it's in litigation. My lawyers are dealing with it, and it's... Does the podcast have lawyers? Yes. Do they have a stack probably this thick of suits on their on their table? Yes. Am I being actively sued by you know people who watch this podcast, listen to the advice? Maybe. Yes. So uh, let's get back to the advice. So uh, take some other. This is from best friend. Um, take some other deep drag of a cigarette before speaking. Want to in. Want to invade Earth, huh? Let me guess. You want to enslave the humans, take over the planet, and become intergalactic overlords. Sounds pretty standard. Just a word of advice, though. Humans are more stubborn than they look, so you better come prepared. Humans are more stubborn than they look. Ain't that the truth? If I had to learn one thing from my social work career thus far, is that humans are more stubborn than they look. I thought they looked pretty stubborn, so that's saying something. Mm -hmm. From this from this perspective, it kind of looks like I have a square head. Like, it's like... It'd be pointy, so I don't, stubborn. Sort of the most stubborn shape is a square or a triangle, I'd say. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, it's that, that seems more like best friend is giving me advice, but I mean, I think I can speak on this a little bit. Um, you know, there's a lot of theories about aliens. Some people think aliens have already invaded Earth. They probably have. Among us. They probably have. Look at Trudeau. Well, Trudeau's is Castor's son. Look at Trudeau. He might be an alien. Look at Trudeau. What? The aliens have invaded Earth. I mean, just look at Trudeau. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Um, and Obama. He was a lizard man. Mark Zuckerberg. Um, no, he's a lizard. Yeah. Different. he's. No, the reptilians are lizards. So... And also, I, the other theory is that there are no aliens. So there's sort of two main prevailing theories. One is that there's no aliens, and two is that there are aliens, and they've taken over the entire planet. There's which, a lot of debate over this. Which, now that I think about it, it's... You're going from... In the mind of the people who believe in reptilians, you're going from, okay, there's no aliens, to there are aliens, and they've taken over the whole Earth, and nobody knows it but I. Right? That's a pretty weird jump. Do you think the people in charge of, like, Silicon Valley are... Is it more likely that they're lizards or aliens? 
Lizards or aliens? Well, the reptilian thing is that they're aliens that are lizard people. But, like, which one are they? Well, I think it's both, is what the idea is. They're lizard aliens? Mm-hmm, they're reptilians. Fuck. Yeah, bad news for sure. iPhone 16 at least. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I have I had an iPhone uh, 7 for the longest time, and that's a great phone. That was the last innovative one. The iPhone 7 was a great piece of technology. Do you remember iOS 7? I do remember iOS 7. Do you remember the Freestyle Machine? No. Yeah, you do. Come on. What is it? The Freestyle Machine? The Freestyle Coke? Freestyle Coke Machine? Oh, at like the at the movie theater? theater? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's fire. I thought you were talking about, like, in the phone. <laughs> PS5 or Freestyle Coke Machine? Freestyle Coke Machine. Holy. Nintendo Switch or Freestyle Coke Machine? Coke Machine. I'd use it more. Oh. Freestyle Coke Machine or Christmas? Christmas. Okay. Um, so then the, the another advice question is, can you guys do an on-camera kiss for the straight ladies out there? Who said this? It's anonymous, so. <laughs> okay, sure. No, that's not, you don't, that's, no, man. This, I don't pay, this is, this, because that, that, what, you know what this is? What? This is, one, this is fetishizing gay, gay men, because it's saying for the straight ladies. Who cares? Straight ladies deserve some fun. That's true, Plus but not at my expense. Fun. But then if I get paid, but hold on. Kissing is an expense. That's kissing is a sexual, is kissing is sexual. No, it's not. No, that's like an OnlyFans thing. It's like, can you do an on-camera kiss for the straight ladies out there? That's an OnlyFans. So what? How about no, how about no, okay, how about no lip, no tongue? That's not even a kiss. That is a kiss. What do you want me to do? Then? I don't know, you can kiss me on the head if you want. But, I mean, I'm not... This is this is a this is clearly whoever wrote this is a predator. I'm a predator. Can you do a a kiss for the straight ladies and audience? Yeah. Thank you. There you go, so, straight ladies. So, but but I have a point of contention because they watched the whole. To, no, this was on the last. Uh, no, this was on the, the video before last. So they watched the whole thirty minute podcast and they thought, I want to see kissing. I would, too, if I was a straight lady. Now, but imagine you were watching a podcast with two women, and you said, can you guys kiss? Do you think that'd but be appropriate? But we're gay. But do you think it would be appropriate? No, because that's not their sexuality. No, but they, what if they, you didn't, but she didn't, this person didn't know we were gay. No, they did. No, you they did. You said on episode two that I'm your boyfriend when you introduced me. I don't even think I said that. You totally did. Okay, what if you're watching a podcast with two lesbians and the you comment, can you guys kiss for the straight guys out there? I don't see the problem. You don't see the problem with that? That's much. Okay, what if Chapel Roan had a podcast with her girlfriend and you said, can you guys kiss? Would that be appropriate? Uh, yeah. You were going to say no. But it is. Because they're already dating. What's the big deal? Because you're asking them to kiss for your entertainment. Oh my god, you're tr you're this is you're being woke. I'm not being. I am being woke because if you keep being woke, you're gonna go broke. That's true. But see, now the podcast is so fuck is so fucking sexual. Sex sells. Yeah, but when I go to, I can't show this to the kids now, man. This is for the kids. You already said fuck like ten times. This show has been for the kids. Well, I was censoring fuck before. We're talking about aliens destroying people. We're talking about lizards. We're talking about... Don't say anything more explicit. Okay. <laughs> I'll get... I'll get like my... Lizards. I'm, I'm any more explicit than lizards don't go there. Okay. I don't want you talking about armadillos. We could make a kid-friendly episode. We could. We could t teach ABCs. We could give children advice. Well, we tried that last time. Okay, what if the... Oh, here's a good idea. What if the birthday special is a special for kids? And we ha we teach, like, ABCs, and we teach 1-2-3s, and we teach, like, what the difference between Coke and Pepsi is. That'd be cool. Okay, so that works. Um, another question. Uh, hello, I need advice. What do you do when the food mom makes for dinner just isn't that good, and you want something yummy, but you don't want to hurt her feelings? What would I do then? Thank you. That's a good question. I've run into the, this question, uh, this issue, more than once... One time, my mom came into my room. She said, "Hey, I'm making slush," and I don't know if I slush. Well, exactly. When you hear that word, you think, "Oh, this is rotten." And it's basically just like macaroni mixed with a bunch of paste and sauce and meat and shit. Macaroni. It's like macaroni with meat and sauce and goop. 
It's real sticky and goopy. I'd rather eat, like, porridge. So, and I'll tell you this anonymous character, what I did then, I said, um, <laughs> I said, I'm not going to be able to eat dinner today. <laughs> and then I went out and I got McDonald's. You went out by yourself? Yeah, I went out by myself for a meal. Was she mad? No, man, she was fine. Well, but that's the second part of the question. How do you... Uh, How do you, you don't, want to, don't want to hurt her feelings? What if her feelings would have gotten hurt but you get a McDonald's? So, do you know, so the food's already made in this... Do you think this person already... The, do you think they meant that their mom's already made the food? I think it's like she's making it. She's making it and you don't want it. Yeah. But you don't want to hurt her feelings. You could say, like... That implies she will have her feelings hurt if you don't want to eat it. But there's no... It seems like there's no way you're getting out of it. Well, that's why he's asking for advice. I think what this person is asking is to have their cake and eat it, too. And usually, I think, for the for the audience, I'm very lucky in that so often there's a way to out of these situations. But I, I think the truth of it is, is there's just... Sometimes there's no way out. And you just have to deal with the situation as it is, right? Yeah. And in this situation, it's such that I think you just have to eat the yucky shit. You have to eat the slush? You have to eat the yucky shit, or you have to go out and you hurt her feelings. And I'm sorry to this person who asked this question. That's the, not very good advice. Well, you know, sometimes there's no... Sometimes the question is like... Have you considered talking to her mom? And telling her you don't like that food? Yes. Well, what, if she's, what if she gets mad at you? Well, at least you're trying to resolve the problem. Because the advice you're giving right now is to avoid the problem. No, no, I think you just need to tell her that, you know, I don't necessarily want this for supper, and I'll, I'm going to make my own supper. Because it's not fair to say, I don't like this, make me better food. You can't do can't that. can't make their own food? What if they're a little baby boy? If they're a little baby boy, then, you know, they're SOL, right? That's abuse. And you want something <laughs> yummy, but you don't want to hurt her feelings. Maybe there's, like granola bars in the cupboard. That's you, I, I think, if you say, you know what, I'm not a big fan of this meal, and I really appreciate, I think you got two options. One, you say, you know what, I'm going to level with you, Mom. I'm not into slush. I'm just not. But, and I appreciate you cooking, and I really respect the fact that you're providing, but I think I'm going to make my own meal, because I don't want to eat this. I think that she's going to have her feelings for a little bit, but there's not really a way out of that situation. Or you can just say, hey, I'm I'm not going to be home for supper. What's more important to you, your tummy health or your mental health? Hmm. Well, that's something you have to balance, right? And I think that if your mom's chill like mine, my mom would say, go ahead. I'm not making another meal, but if you want to make something, go ahead. That's what she'd say to me. Mine would go, so you don't like my food? Mm-hmm. Do what you want. I'll be eating dinner with my family, and then I'd go cry. See, you don't need to cry, though, because you just got what you wanted. But that's the thing. I get what I want, but yeah. I'm sad about it. But that's what I'm saying. I don't think that... Well, you, well, you, it's not about you. It's about this person asking advice. Yeah. But I think, what, like what I said earlier, is you, you can't necessarily have your cake and eat it, too. There, and this is an excellent if, a learning moment, because... There's going to be situations in life where you have only bad choices to make and you just have to make the best one with the tools you have available. And you have to sort of look at all the options and say, you know, what is the best choice I can make with the limited options I have? And sometimes that's all you can do. I mean, you need to be equipped in that situation. Because the worst thing you can do is make no choice. Because then the universe decides for you and then you're not even an actor in your own life. And that's no good. Imagine if somebody made a movie about you and you had no lines. That's what would happen. That's kind of the worst part about life, huh? Mm -hmm. It's like you, you're you being forced to choose between two bad things. But you have it's to be like, able to. It's like, do I work the rest of my life in manual labor? Or do I play do Fortnite I, yeah. every day? Well, that's a win. That's a win, yeah. But, I mean, would you agree? No, yes, that sometimes you just need to... But you need to be able to make these choices. Yeah. You know. And you think toughie. maybe this person asking this just... They have a bad choice. I think you weigh the pros and cons. Like, how upset would she be about being upset by you not eating versus mm -hmm. how gross and yucky is the meal? Yeah, for sure. 
But we have spent a lot of time on this one. Yeah. We have one more. Stop provoking. I, I don't want to go over forty minutes because then it's, are we really? How much? We're at half an hour. Christ. Yeah. And I'm not editing it because I don't like Sony Vegas. And it's it's nine thirty. I don't feel like editing. So uh, how That's do I? The last one. Yeah. This one is from another anonymous friend of our uh, another anonymous person. Um, anonymous friend. <laughs> How do I stop buying earrings? Question mark. I have thirty. I have one hundred and thirty-six pairs now. Question mark. I can't be this swagger all the time. Uh, sunglasses. Sun. Sunglasses emoji. No period. So they drop the punctuation at the end, but that's okay. Period. Period. Uh, period. How do I stop buying earrings? I have one hundred thirty-six pairs now. I can't be this swagger all the time. Well. I so the it, problem is that. They're too swagger too often. Do you, can you pass me your glasses? I need to get into th a thinking mode for this. So let me let me consult the. I fuck your eyes up. Yeah, well that's okay. So I sort of need to go into thinking mode, sort of. <laughs> so let me get this straight, son. You got 136 pairs of earrings, but only two, two, one pair of ears, son. Now let me get this straight. You know, you got 136 pairs of earrings. You double that, you got 272, 272 individual earrings, and you got two ears. You got 272 pairs of earrings, and only two ears, 136 pairs. So you have 136 peers, but only two ears. What is his accent? You got two ears, but you got 136 pairs of earrings. That's too many peers of earrings. Now I respect your hustle, and I respect what you care about. But you got already enough earrings, son. Because you got to think, for 136 days in a row, you could wear a different pair of earrings every day. And no one's going to know none the wiser that you've been repeating them once the second half of the year comes, son. Now, you could... You could, son... Son, you need to listen to me, son. Because you get 136 pairs, and you wear a different pair each day, you only have a repeat but the, um, twice a year. Because there's, what, uh, 272 days a year or something? So, you get to that, you only have to loop it through twice. So, I think, uh, you know, I respect the hustle, I really do. But, you know, your question was, how do I stop buying them? And so, let's let's approach that one. One so kind of like the how do I stop buying candy question. Yeah, and that one I think I struggled with too. So, you have to, first of all, if you want to stop buying earrings, you have to tell yourself, I want this to stop. You know, you have to make that choice. The first part is admitting you have a problem. I No, because they're not an alcoholic. Uh, similar. So, nope. Nope. Addiction doesn't have to be to substances. So... Well, this we know this person, so we don't want to accuse them of having an addiction. Okay. Because we do know this person. I thought they were anonymous. We know them anonymously. Okay. So, um, if you want to stop buying earrings, you got to make the choice to stop buying earrings. You know, and that's not an easy choice to make. But it's something you have to sort of draw a line in the sand and say, hey, I want this to stop. And then you sort of have to look at it and you go, what steps am I going to take to make it stop? What behaviors will I change? Do you buy the earrings spontaneously? Or do you make plans to buy the earrings? Do you only buy the earrings when you go to the mall? Or do you buy the earrings anytime you see them online? Maybe what you need to do is say, hey, I'm not gonna buy stuff online anymore. I'm gonna I'm gonna un, I'm gonna I'm gonna delete this from my recent history and so it doesn't auto direct me to it. Or maybe you need to say, hey, I'm not when I go to the mall. I'm going to leave my debit card at home because I don't want to go into stores and buy earrings. And you can say, and I know what you're about to say, you're going to say, but they don't want to, they, they like earrings. Yeah. But they want to stop. Well, I, okay, as someone who also online shops, I yeah. assume this is from online shopping. I think it is too. <laughs> I struggle also with, um, like, finding things that are cute. And you get 136 pairs. I just throw them in my cart and I'm like, okay, I'll figure the cost out later. Yeah. But then by the time you're in checkout, it's like, yeah. you're so excited for your little toys. Yeah. And then you don't care about the shipping costs. Yeah. Maybe I, what, yeah. What I do, yeah. Yeah. I give myself yeah. a budget. Yeah. Because I know I'm, I want a little toy every yeah. now and then. 
So I give myself like twenty mm-hmm. percent maybe mm-hmm. of like my monthly income, and I'm like, this is my toy money, and I'm yeah. gonna buy toys with it. Basically, you need to yeah. So that's that. I'll get into that too. So ba- basically, you need to. So I think it's critical what you do is you tally up. You know, what am I spending on this? And is this something I don't want to do? You know, do I want to save this money, or is it? Is it about the money, and or is it about too many earrings? Is this a momentary joy, or will I appreciate this in the future? I've seen this... I, I'm betting this person appreciates earrings, maybe even Hennessy earrings or something. Maybe. But I so, buy a lot of toys in the moment, and then I put them on my shelf, and then a couple months later, I'm like, why did I buy this? So, I think if it's about this, the number of earrings, I think you need to look at them and say, you know, do I care about this one, do I care about this one? And sort of rank them and say, okay, well, everything below, be, everything below a certain threshold, I don't want anymore. If it's about the money, okay, well, you don't need to spend any more money. That's a fantastic thing. You're not stuck. You always have, a, you always have habits you can build. So you need to tally up, you know, get your ducks in a row. Say, is this about the money? Is this about the quantity? Is this about both? And if it's about both, if it's about the money. Well, you don't have to buy anymore, right? You've got more than enough, and everyone around you know that. Everyone around you knows you're dripping. Rather, you're dripping like a broken faucet. You're dripping like a hose, and we didn't. We forgot to turn it off. We know. And we're gardening tomorrow, so we don't care if it leaks. And another thing, just because you have 136, mm-hmm. the problem isn't necessarily that you need to mm-hmm. stop. Like, the number can't keep going up. Mm-hmm. Maybe the Maybe. rate of acceleration needs to slow. Yeah. Say, maybe. Maybe let's say you're buying two, three pairs a week. Maybe you can say, okay, well... Every payday, I'll buy myself one pair of earrings. Or maybe, like, for every couple earrings you buy, mm-hmm. you give a couple that you don't like anymore. Yeah. Okay, you resell. If it's about the money, you know, you could say, okay, and then well... Then you can continue to feed your... Addiction. No, no passion, you didn't say that. Passion. Your passion so sustainably. Let's let's break it down. So if it's about the money, one, you need to frequent those areas less, and you need to decide for yourself that you want to change this. Uh, and say, you know what, I can't quit cold, people can't really quit cold turkey, it don't really work. So, I mean, some people can, but maybe you say, like, instead of buying one every time I go on this website, I'm going to buy one every payday. And then you're still getting it, and it, but it's a lot more sustainable, and you can sort of stop and look and say, how much am I spending on this? Hmm. If it's about the quantity, you don't need to get rid of them, unless you do want to get rid of them. In which case, you can give one to a friend. I'm not going to wear them if this is my friend. But I'm sure a lot of friends would wear them. Um, as it stands right now, though, I mean, let's pretend that I've seen some of these earrings. Are they dripping? Yes. Are they iconic? Yes. And do I think that this hypothetically would be kind of dope? Yes. 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 So I think that's it. Bye-bye.